comeback time! Hello and welcome to another figure review. Today we're gonna have a look at the Psycho Collectibles Mortal Kombat Scorpion. <sighs> yeah, this is, a, this is a classic I dug out because I'm super hyped for the new Mortal Kombat. I saw the trailer and uh, I'm, really, I'm really in the groove. By the way, I'm still waiting on Goro from Storm Collectibles. He's out basically everywhere except for Ami Ami and I got him pre-ordered on Ami Ami so I'm still waiting for Ami Ami to get him. So really just sorry about the delay on that one, but uh, they, they're really not getting those in. So <clears throat> getting off of the Storm Collectibles and back to the Psycho Collectibles. Why I ducked this out is also because there's a little bit of a history behind this. But before we go into the history, I mean, I'll, I'll keep that probably for the end. When I have a look at the size, he stands at about 20 centimeters, really to the top of a sword, like a little bit over it when we're going up to the elbow and my ruler is too small and I don't have the big ruler in the in the new place right now. Haha <laughs> Yeah I, I need to get on that. But uh basically yeah 20 centimeters 10 inches for the figure itself and then you also got a base which uh, also has some decent size to it and uh, you cannot put him down because he has them, them screws and stuff in the feet. But here's the base you got a nice small combat logo and it's all like rippled up. You got like fissures and stuff that's breaking apart and it looks very nice it looks like real concrete and has like the dark going around the, the molding is fantastic on this one and also the paint job really makes it come to life makes it look like a real piece of concrete if you're asking me and then at the bottom let's see got the psycho collectibles and uh the number which brings me to another one 250 i don't know if this one is a special edition or the regular edition they made an edition where Scorpion has an alternate hat. Now, how, how, how do I do not know if it's the special one or the, the regular one? Well, because my, my dad threw the box away. I got this guy and like the next day he threw the box away and uh, I was just talking to a friend and he was like, oh, which, which version do you have? And I'm like, I got the normal one. Are you sure about that? You, you bought it at the store that has like special edition. I'm like, wait, what? <clears throat> so he told me like, oh yeah, a special edition hat is like on top of the box and like a, kind of a small hidden part and uh, I, I, I was like, I don't, wanna, I don't have the box anymore, so that, that was great. <clears throat> that, was, that was really great, good job Dad. But uh, it's been so long, it's been uh, six years, yeah, six years or something. So overall look of the figure, let me get him in close so I can actually move him around and show you all the detail in it. We have a very nicely done face gone and just a crap ton of detail. In the eyes, you got the scorpion face mask and whatever the hell is going on under there. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of whatever that is. Let me get in. Let me get in real close so you can appreciate all the stuff that's going on over here. And you got the scorpion design in his hood. It's kind of crooked though. It's not really in the middle. <gasps> I only notice that now. But um, another thing that you might notice, there's a little piece missing, which broke off when I took him out of the packaging. Yes, he is incredibly frail, and I'm honestly afraid. I, I might break off some more stuff, and we're going down to the neck. The paint job over here really comes, goes into a different tone. We got the nice metallic blue, and it really has a worn look, a little bit of a battle damage look, but it all looks like armor, and I don't know, he was pretty armory in the uh, Mortal Kombat 9 design. I'm not sure that's alright. <laughs> then I might be exaggerating a little bit, but it does look cool. That's always like a thing for figures. Uh, you might say it's not accurate, but on the flip side, it looks cool as a figure. So then we got the scorpion, kind of like the, the two tails in here with some gold in the armor. And uh, yeah, everything's armor. Going down, going to the back actually, to the swords, I got two more scorpion stings as a... Wait, this one has a really like a worn look, but this one's not as worn. But yeah, a scorpion handle. And uh, you may notice that they waggle a little bit around. Because you could remove them. And I glued them on because it kept falling off. Another problem, quality control. Not only is it super frail, there's also stuff that's falling off. And we got the gold in his gi. It's really like more gold. It doesn't look yellow in this version at all, but it's really dirty. You, you see it, the, the black that's going over it, yeah, and it's, that's all over the place. The only part where the paint job really falls apart, 
heart of hearts. Now I said it like three times. Like anyway, but uh, yeah, the muscle. Like it just I don't know what they how they screwed this up. He had like all this cool stuff going on, which it's a bit it's a little bit random though. Uh, it's a little bit busy in the car department. You, you can give him that, but I again I still think it's cool. Still think it looks good overall. Uh, it get, makes it really vibrant and interesting. But yeah. Uh, the arms, the, the, the paint job in the arms itself is okay, there's even some shading in it. As you can tell, it's really going over the brighter tones all throughout it. But uh, yeah, everything that's painted over it, like over here, like the bandages look horrible. It doesn't look too great how it connects to the forearm. There are even some scratches on the side. And uh, same thing going on over here, you really like, eh, they didn't do a good job with that and that's just weird because comparing just compare this to all of this and all of in all of in the back and in the hat you might think like what the hell happened like the skin tones in the head look good there's nothing there's nothing bleeding over too much ha <laughs> bleeding moral comment get it and then we got some more detail i got the skull in the mouth and the little skull pieces in the knee pads this one is still good this one's broken off on one side and already glued on the other side because the other side I glued it a million times and it always would fall off and uh, literally this part broke off when I cleaned them for this review again because this is super fail. I don't even want it. I usually I move it around a little bit to show you, but I don't because if I move this around it will break off clean immediately. They didn't make it rubbery, which they could have because those are once again knee pads which you could take off, but I glued them on because they wouldn't stay on. Same as the sword. Just, you know, quality control all over the place and we got a nice look at his package and his butt. You know, I, I do it for the ladies, so it's Ponsu time! Just, bruh. Okay. Then we got more gold spikes uh, and the rest of his boots. And he does have a light up feature, which doesn't work right now. Like, seriously. I don't get it. I don't get it. I was like, I'm gonna do this review, I'm gonna show everybody the light up feature. But, it doesn't want to work right now, and I can't even get him back on the base. So there you go. Nice and tight on the base, let me see. Hold on, I think it works now. Earlier I didn't, okay, so. Aha! There you go, we got LEDs that uh, go into his eyes, and as you can tell also, shines through a little bit over there, because we have a broken part. And that's really cool. So yeah, that's another feature of the figure, and uh, really that's pretty much gonna do it. I mean, I've shown you everything. I told you the story of uh, of me getting this figure and breaking it and uh, losing, potentially losing a hand because my dad threw the box away. But story time's not even over. You know what? Psycho Collectibles. Let's talk about Psycho Collectibles real quick before I wrap this up. Because the story of Psycho Collectibles is an interesting one. They got all these Mortal Kombat figures. They did like Scorpion, Sub-Zero and a bunch of others. Like uh, the girls, Liu Kang. And uh, they, they, they do come out. It doesn't matter. But yeah, they did a lot in a short amount of time. And uh, a lot of people got their figures. But a lot of people didn't get their figures. And the story behind that is this... Psycho Collectibles was a scam, and uh, yeah, he, they were basically pushing out just a lot of Mortal Kombat figures so that people would pre-order them and be like, oh, I'm gonna get an entire line, until they were just like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take all your money and piss off, and that's what he did. And that was the end of Psycho Collectibles, he just took the people's money and left, and a lot of people were left without any figures from Psycho Collectibles. So yeah, I, I'm lucky I got mine, but I really I really bought them when I came out. A little bit of a bittersweet note, and it's really sad because overall, and it's gonna bring me to the final thoughts. Wow, what a transition. <laughs> but uh, yeah, overall, this figure looks great. He, uh, the poses very also, for the record, I like cool poses. Don't give me always the same poses of some guy just standing there being like, oh, I'm the strongest or whatever. This figure clocked in at around 150 bucks when I got him, so that was worth every penny of it. But right now, if you want to find him, if you want to track him down, they, they've become kind of rare because of scam stuff, and I don't even know how many they actually shipped out. But uh, <clears throat> that all being said, 
If you can still find this guy at 150 bucks, totally worth it. Uh, a little bit over it might still be worth it, and this is horrible. Wow, my voice is believing me. <coughs> so, overall, figure's great. Paint job's kind of random, but it looks cool, and uh, he's extremely fragile and has some QC issues. But for the original price, it's totally worth it, and uh, maybe if you want to go over it a little bit, it might still be worth it to you. But we all, <clears throat> we all have different ideas of value. And I need to stop now because I'm going to lose my voice completely. That's going to do it, guys. As usual, thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, gameplay stuff, and whatever Scorpion wants. Get over here!